guys, I'm home. It's Thursday evening. I'm off tomorrow because I'm going to see my surgeon for my mouth, for my teeth, whatever. And so I went and got groceries for this week coming up. That way it's already done this weekend and I can meal prep. But I got some things also other than groceries. So I've got a grocery haul and some other things from Walmart. And I'll explain it to you as we go. But it cost about $150. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'm going to show you what all I got. The total was actually $136.21. So first off, I got, that is not part of the haul. I got that a few weeks ago. Um, two of these Melissa and Doug puzzles. If you're wanting to invest in some Melissa and Doug chunky puzzles, right now they are $5 at Walmart. And this is like a week after Black Friday. So I guess this is going on through Christmas. But I did get the Melissa and Doug Dino one and the farm one. Uh, but they did have another one or two to choose from. And these are going to be part of Mason's Santa gift. He's also getting a high chair. Y'all will see those videos before this. Um, but I explained to y'all, and I think in a previous video, that Cooper had already, I'd already gotten him his three Santa gifts. And he requested something else. Well, there are two Santa gifts in their gift together. And he requested two or three other things. So, um, Mason, it was kind of hard to find something except for he was getting another high chair. That was something I was gonna add to his Santa gifts. So I got these two little things to go and equal out with Cooper's two little things, two and three other little things that he's asking for. Uh, like I said, Mason's getting the ball pit and the little sit and scoot car. And that was gonna be his two gifts, but I'm adding these two on and the high chair to match up with five gifts each. And then I got this Infantino, what do they call this? stack of fun mason's day school that he goes to is doing a gift exchange you have to buy if you have a little boy or a little girl if you have a boy you buy a five to ten dollar gift for a boy girl same thing um and they're doing a gift exchange so somebody somebody that buys something is going to go to mason and then this will go to another kid in the daycare that's around his age so that was $4.97 like in the stock and, sex, stock and stuffer section. Then I got some snacky stuff to throw in my drawer at work for myself. I'm teaching. So I have a desk and I'm throwing, using a drawer just for snacks. I got these Ritz toasted chips and the sour cream and onion. I had these years back, but I haven't had them in a while and they're really good. So I got a bag of those. Some chocolate chip cookies. I prefer this baked brand from Walmart over the Chips Ahoy and the Great Value Chewy ones. These are chewy and they are so good, y'all. I'm not gonna bring all these to work. Some of these will stay home, but I'm gonna bring some of them in a Tupperware container to eat on next week. Then y'all know I love the turkey pinwheels, so I got that to have for a quick dinner since it's just me this weekend. And then I've been wanting to try protein drinks, um, and I wanted to try the Nesquik, but my Walmart didn't have the Nesquik protein chocolate milk, so this was in the checkout, and I'm going to try this brand and see how I like it, the core power. Hopefully, it's good because I need some kind of protein drink every day, and I just haven't found one that I like. So, I'm going to try it in this video and at the end and tell you how it tastes. Then, I really like this Olipop drink. Um, it's like something that I really enjoy, and I honestly really like this compared to soda. So, I feel like it's a really good soda option if you like soda and you want something a little bit healthier. It's a probiotic drink. So I got this four pop pack of strawberry vanilla, which I really like. And then I got the root beer, which I really like, but they didn't have a four pack. So I just got one of those. And then I got the Olipop Tropical Punch. I've never had that one, so I'm gonna give it a try. If you know any other brands that are cheaper, let me know. I don't like the Zevia brand. Then I got some mild guacamole mini cups to bring in my lunches this coming week. String cheese for lunches and snacks. These are really good. Colby Jack cheese because I've got a few meals this week. I'm making like three or four things and they all pretty much need cheese. And then I really like just this great value plain original vanilla yogurt. And then some more snacky stuff for work. Pure protein. I'm not usually a protein stuff type of girl like I said. Um, but these look really good so I thought I would try them. These snacks for work will last a good while. Um... But I'm just trying to find protein options that I like. So I'm picking up one or two things each time I go to the store to try. Just, you know, trying to eat a little bit healthier coming into the new year. Trying it now. Got these Del Monte Fruit Refreshers Peaches and Chia. I really like these. So I did pick up a pack of those to bring to work. I like to have a pack of drink mixes at work and I'm out. I have some at home, but I needed a box for work. So I got the Skittles Tropical Zero Sugar for my water bottles. 
some goldfish. Those will probably either stay home or go to work. Probably stay home. Um, and then some M&M's peanut butter. Those are my favorite, like, sweet treats. So, if I want something sweet and not as healthy, I'll have these peanut butter M&M's at work for myself. A little thing of great value lactose-free whole milk. We're pretty much all lactose-free with the milk in this house just to keep Mason safe. Birthday cake instant oatmeal. Mason's been eating baby oatmeal, but I think I want to start little by little letting him try regular oatmeal. So, I'm going to let him try the birthday cake. It was under $2, so I'm going to let him try that. So, white chicken chili for this week. That's one thing on the meal plan, and this is very easy. You just buy this packet. It tells you on the back what you need and how to make it. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it. Got the Great Northern Beans. It calls for white beans, but we prefer Great Northern Beans in it. And my mom as well, because she makes this. Picked up a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to do chicken salad. And I have some pita bread pockets in my freezer that I bought on clearance like last week. So I'm going to use the rotisserie chicken for pita pockets this week and salad. Uh, got a thing of iceberg lettuce for the chicken salad. I don't like chicken salad. I like salad mixed with chicken in it. If that makes sense, some ranch because I was out. Some holiday tortilla chips. We do tortilla chips with the chicken chili um, instead of rice to switch it up. But yeah, I hope these taste like regular tortilla chips. If you've tried them, let me know. And then I got a thing of blueberry toaster strudels because that's the kid's favorite breakfast like as a special treat. And then the last few things I got, I needed a new laminator for work. Um, I got the thermal laminator, just the pin and gear. The refills on this is a lot cheaper than the Scott brand. I think there's some laminating sheets in there, but I'm going to open it up in a minute and let you know. Some Febreze air in the whipped warm sugar and shea butter for work because, yeah, we just need that sometimes. Some tape for work because I've been borrowing a girl's and I'm going to return hers and I've got my own pack. Then I got Remy a bone. I was going to wait for Christmas to give it to him, but I'm going to give it to him now. And then in the stock and stuff stuffer section, this three dog bakery candy cane lick and crunch golden and candy cane flavored cream. Like look like little dog Oreos. It's a six count. So that's going to be under the tree with Remy's Christmas gifts because he's also getting a dog bed, a sweater and like there's something else he's getting he got a new bowl set and holder uh, but i already gave it to him because he needed it but he's getting treats and other things and i just thought that looked really cool all right so it comes with five but the pin and gear brand at walmart the refills are only like 12 dollars for 50 or like 18 for 150 and scotch brand is like 22 dollars for like 50 refills y'all so it's a lot cheaper and I like because not all brands have this option, but some of them do where you don't have to use two sheets. One sheet works and it actually opens up if you can see and you just slot it in there. I like that it's already pre-done like that. So there's five in there. So now let's try the Core Power chocolate drink. All right, y'all, I'm telling myself I'm gonna like it. I don't like protein drinks, but we're gonna get that out of my head. We're gonna say that I'm gonna like it because I've got to try something. I'm losing so much weight, and after my surgeries, I'm definitely going to need these because I'm going to be on a soft food diet for a while while the swelling and while I get new teeth. So, let's try this, and hopefully it tastes good. Like I said, I wanted to get the Nesquik protein drink they just came out with. It smells like chocolate milk, and I've been seeing everybody like this, and it's by Fair Life. So let's try it. But I want to try the Nesquik when I find it. But hopefully this is good because if it is, I'll buy a case from Sam's. This is not my, it's not the best, y'all. But I can get down with this. I can drink this. It's not like Insure. It's really good. I don't like a lot. I've tried the Atkins. I've tried Insure. Um, I've tried all kind of brands. I've tried the Equate. Like, there's more brands than that I've tried. But this, I can tolerate this once or twice a day to get some protein. But it's, tw let me tell you about it. It's 26 grams of protein, 170 calories, 260 milligrams of sodium, which I'm not worried about the sodium because... With my, dis my autoimmune disease, I'm supposed to have like double, triple the salt intake, um, just how my body works. 
most people have to be careful with how much salt they eat. I'm supposed to eat extra salt than what more people eat, most people eat. And um, it only has five grams of sugar, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, three grams of saturated fat, and 4.5 grams of total fat. And altogether, it's 26 grams of protein, which is your 52% of daily value. It's got vitamin D, calcium, iron, potassium, and vitamin A. So definitely going to be buying a case of this, and hopefully I can find the Nestle, and I can switch them up and try that one as well. If you haven't tried the Core Power, try the chocolate one. I know I'm not going to like vanilla. That's why I didn't get it. But this thing, we can get down with it. Hope you all enjoyed this Walmart haul, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.